What is going on, everyone? My mother truckers, we back here for another video. The sun is out, clouds are moving east. Perfect time. But today, ciao. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. I always searching, scouring for new equipment, new vehicle, just things around the shop too. Like I got this nice press here a little bit ago, this jack stand, and then what else? Um, I got some, or no, I got this pallet fork. Uh, really cheap, like 50 bucks from this factory. They were closing down. So I always looking, scouring. So Chow was on Facebook and I found a super cool, nice, clean, low mile, not too beat up, not too, it looked like everything, no rust. It white, it a Mac. So what are I thinking? I think I'm going to trade the Lone Star 1600 in for this. So that's what I want to do. I want to upgrade this sell it i was gonna sell it and then get a bigger one so i had this for sale a few people come by trying uh, i think chow asking a little too much but then all of a sudden this guy wanted it so cheap he wanted it gone and so what chow thinking i asked him to trade for it and he said sure come by i sent him pictures told him all the info on this tow truck on the lone star and he's like let's do it so i'm gonna head up there now just chow to swindle him a little bit i think he wanted another two grand uh he wanted me to pay two grand plus trade him this for his tow truck but what i want to do is trade straight up so that's chow's goal is to go in there swindle i thought maybe bring him a few chickens uh might might get him or buy him a six pack or something are we gonna see chow's on his way now i i'll stop somewhere and get a six pack of beer or something to give to him maybe just a nice gesture and maybe you think chow's a nice guy and then all of a sudden it's like no the two grand's nothing and then we just trade straight up by the way just repoed a another f450 with a big text trailer so everything good there and then uh yeah everything going pretty good fire station all that good stuff and then chicken farm is still up and running so everybody's eating good there we have a bunch of eggs we selling today this place is pretty cool though really long drive kind of out by one of the lake I show you it a bit northeast of the shop and then i think it's like in one of the inlets or like the island uh not island like one of the little coves so it might be a you know like a weird path to get back there he said it pretty tough so good thing i didn't bring my big boy my mighty mouse but now chow can repo big jobs we can maybe bring the mighty mouse and this and then pull out big ones sometime soon i want to get like a 30 ton or like a 40 ton wrecker and then really blow up in the towing uh, kind of industry that they have rather than just repo. But this truck gonna be a pretty good repo too. Mr. Chow pretty excited. Usually I don't let my emotion get away from me. But when I saw this deal, he wanted it for so cheap. I messaged him right away. Um, and so we're heading up there now. I'm pretty excited that he wanted to trade. He said he trying to like downsize. Didn't need that big a one for the job. And I, I trying to up, upscale. They were the perfect match. Me and him are the perfect match. Kind of like chicken and gravy. You know what I'm saying? Like chow and chickens. Like all that good stuff. Like chow and repo. All that just work together. Pretty steep hill climb there. And here comes the lake. I think. Pretty cool campsites. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Go camping go boating pretty small lake though not too big probably want to bring too big a boat on all right is this it no on this cabin um keep going probably that not it that's pretty cool cabin though i would love to live there oh here it is we're pulling in he was right he said it's only a one car lane Let's see, we go in here. Go through here. Jeez, he needs to trim his branches. This it? No, that's not it. Jeez, the trees in here are so tight. My tow truck can't even fit through. He must, I think he won maybe to downsize because it's, it's so hard to get back here. Here it is, here's the setup. Pretty cool house, he's right on the water. This is pretty neat. What's going on, my sir? Your name's Leslie, right? My name's Leslie. What's yours? Is it Recon? 
Yes, I am. Okay, Recon. that's what your uh, Facebook was, I think. I couldn't remember. Nice to meet you, Recon. My name Leslie, nice or you can you. call me Chow too. Um, this is a pretty cool place you have on the water, the log cabin. How did you? How do you even fit your truck up when you drive? It's incredibly tight. That's why I need to kind of downsize. Okay. Uh, it's the stuff I pull. It's that truck is just way overkill for it. Gotcha. What do you do? Do you do? Are you a service business? Is it personal use? What do you use it for? I'm a uh, kind of contract out. Okay. Kind of person. Okay. I I knew tow truck business, but uh, sat to Walmart by the McDonald's. Uh, there's like a gas station, like an auto repair store there. Not too I heard far. Heard there was some uh, police drama down there. Yeah. See, I do in repo business. Sometimes they get a little, get a little hairy. You say, and sometimes Chow not the smartest. And yeah, we have some pretty crazy things going down when I repo. So yeah, for sure. So uh, this is the truck over here. Yeah, check it out. Here it is. It's uh, a Lone Lone Star sixteen hundred. Uh, it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's not dual axle like yours. Yeah, it's a older Mac. So yours is. Yep. Yeah. How many miles did you say again? 163. Okay, not too bad for a tow. Tow truck. Pretty clean. Any d accidents, dings, dents, anything underneath? A couple of dings and dents. Uh, the frame kind of has some surface rust, but no, nothing flaky, nothing too serious. Okay. Um, engine working good. Everything running. Yep, engines are all good. Cool. Um. Cable, winch, everything working. Yep. Do you it mind if I go pulley. take it for a spin? Yep, that's good. And uh, you might need a new pulley on the uh, rear, but that's nothing too major. Okay. And you're just getting red to downsize? Make it a bit smaller? Like, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it? You don't like it? You oh, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I just need something smaller. Especially living way out this way, and I never pull anything too big anywhere. Okay, sound good. I'm gonna take it on test run. Is that okay? Just up yep. and down the Go road. I come back. Yep. Sound Go good. Forward. Maybe you can take mine. Just follow me, and then you can test yeah, drive mine sure. too. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. So first impression: interior pretty clean. This is about five, six years older than uh, than mine, but it's a Mac. They run for days or years. For decades it's pretty big in here i can't believe he coming in and out all the time or at least like he don't make the road bigger doesn't make no sense unless he recently got this but why would he get it if he can't even pull it in it still don't make chow and no sense there we go we're coming through all right we take it down the road so far pretty bumpy road can't really tell suspension pretty tight and kind of old all right, it's running pretty good. Getting up to speed. She's got a lot of power in the upper gear. At least I feel like it's just a lot bigger truck. A lot quicker. This might be good. I don't like the white, maybe change. Then it has like a gray bed, maybe change it back to the red and black. We see. Right, I'm gonna slow down here. Let him know I'm pulling around. Ooh, the turning radius on this is very wide. Kind of a bummer, but pretty big. I think maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to flag him down before we pull in. We pull off on the side of the road. Maybe make a deal so I don't have to pull back into that stupid driveway and stuff. Maybe we pull... Right... Um... Right in front of the turn, maybe? Let's see, where's it going? Here, no? Alright, there it was, right back there. So what are we gonna do? Pull off right here. Hopefully follow me. We wave him over, come on! Come right here. Pull up. There we go. So what I thinking? Instead of going back in here, you want to make the negotiation here? Sure. Yeah, I'm good with that. So, I know you wanted 2k more. 
It was straight up trade. I understand. Yeah. I understand. It's quite a bit bigger. Now it is a bit older. Um, would you be able to go straight up? Even swap? I can do a swap, and then you can pay a little bit of cash. How much? Since you're new around here, I'll say one thousand cash and trade. Okay. Um. One thing I forgot to tell you is I brought a six pack of beer for you, and I bought two chicken breast, two full chicken. Um, my name Chow, and I have a Chow's Chick Farm. Just started it, so you know maybe I give you like a lifetime, um, or you can come down like once a week or something and get a chicken. For eating? Well, I'd say that would knock the price down significantly. And then maybe just straight up? That way we don't have to yeah. deal with any of that. And Chow forgot to bring his wallet too, so... Yeah, I think I can make straight up work. And then if I ever need any help, I can... I obviously know where I can find some help. Sound good? Straight up trade? Shake on it? Yeah. Shake. There we go. Thank Shake. you. All right, then here's a spare key for mine. All the stuff's in the glove box, all the registration, title, everything. Um, sound good? Sound good. All right, I see you later. All right, boys, we made it. We swindled him. That swindling worked pretty good. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go home. Uh, maybe do a few things on this. I always like to change the oil. That's the thing, whenever I buy something new, change oil, just do routine maintenance, get air pressure up on the tires. Just look underneath one more time. Um, make sure everything working electronically. Everything seemed to be, he, he seemed like a pretty good man. And said nothing working too, too rough. So I see you guys when we get back to the shop. So what I'm thinking now that I'm looking, our gas gauge is pretty small, pretty low. Wait, what? A, is that the General Lee? What the heck? You gonna hit the gas station? He just jumped my fence. Is that the guy that I repoed? Oh no, he heading back. Um, it's not good. Did, how, what did he, he use the big tax as a ramp? What the heck? How did he break into that? Then move it and it's not good. He must have jumped my fence, got in to hot wire it. Maybe he had a spare key or something. I had it locked. Okay, this isn't good. Um, let me. What's the phone number of the guy who I? He can intersect him. He said he was a good guy. Let me call him up real quick. Hello, hello? Hey, uh... Hey, there's no problem with the truck, but, uh, I need your help. I have, I repo business, and a guy just stole one of the vehicles I repo. It's a General Lee All Orange. You'll see it. It's heading up your way right now. If you can leave right now, you should be able to intersect it. Yeah, uh, tow truck guys gotta stick together. I'm, I'm on it. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Try not to get hurt. I don't know if he crazy. He jump it. He jumped like an eight foot tall fence and then he landing he almost hit me did he get, do any damage to the car i don't i don't know um it looked like pretty rough you know when you eight foot in the air and anything it never land too good so i yeah, meet let's you let's hope you get that car let's hope we can get you that car yeah back let's get the drive. car you intersect try and oh. block the road all right maybe act like you in an accident or something and then like he maybe stop if he nice you got on the cb yeah, I own the CB. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. You stop he's, him? You get him? Yeah, I stopped him. Now he's going in reverse. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming the other way. Just keep closing in on him. Stay on him. Be coming in. I, I'm going as fast as... This thing kind of slow, don't you think? Oh, it's an older truck. Yeah, that's true. Here it is. What do I do? Play chicken? I'll come in going through the woods he's going through the woods it's not good pin him to the water i coming in he said he's in a tree he's in a tree in a tree box him in box him in get out of the car bubs get out of the car loser get out of the car loser come on no no he he reversing let's go get in get in Go, go, go. Oh no, the second he taking off. He a Ghana. This not good, this not good. This isn't good. We never gonna catch him now. Last time I had recon intercept. 
That way we could get him. Now we on the open road. There's no way Chow gonna catch him. It's not good, guys. It's not good. I haven't seen him or nothing. I don't know what to do. This never happened before. This never happened. And he break away. That thing go like a hundred. We never gonna catch him on these open road. It's not good. I think we might have to let him go. Recon, you still there? Yep. What are you thinking? I'm thinking he might have broken off on the one of these sides. Why do you think that? He could just beat he's us going straight. Somewhere. That's true, but he's got to hide somewhere. Yeah. Um. We and you both know the game. He's got to hide somewhere. But maybe you just go back to his home. I don't know where. Well, I have his address. You want to go check that then? Thought maybe maybe we maybe we wait for like tomorrow. And then go to his address. He probably hiding. You right. He probably hiding somewhere. We never gonna find him. I kind of want to go back and see if we can see like how he broke out. Really weird. Yeah, I'm actually just outside of town right now, so I can probably meet you there. Yeah, come into the shop. I show you around, and we can see how he broke out of here. See, you guys, look. This is what he did. Lucky he still have the tire mark. He squeal all the way. And he hit this jump. That's literally like 30, 40 feet. You have to jump. And then he land. Where did he land? He landed like right. Like right here. You can see his mark. Here, pull in. Pull in. We show recon. Go ahead, pull in. Close it. Yeah, so this is what he must have done. See, come luck. This is how this guy escaped. You can see his tire mark. He must have hotwired the General Lee. And then set this up. And then just jump it. So what you're telling me is he just launched off a trailer? Yeah. And then you can see where he landed over here. How he did... Land he landed like right here. How would he have gotten access to one of these newer trucks? Um, Maybe he knows how to hotwire or something. Break in. I don't know. You know? Because this guy had to have been a professional because usually the thing would be beeping, the lights would be gone. Yeah, it nothing and maybe he had another or key. Do you, or... your, do you leave your vehicles unlocked? No, they all lock, all keys gone, everything. Might have a bigger problem than what you're thinking then. Why this do you say that? Might, this guy could be getting into the computers on these things and uh Messing them up, you think? Yeah, I think that might be a case. That's not good. I need to get them to the bank. Maybe fortify my stuff more. We see. So, guys, that's like a wrap up today episode. Uh, we're gonna go look for the general some other time. Try and get it back. That's pretty crazy that he jumped this. Thank you guys for watching. And I see you all next one.